The first thing I'd like to, us to do today is talk about um, how you might attach uh, fabric to a backing. The reason to do this is if you're working on a soft fabric, like for example, this fabric is pretty thin and soft. And when you're trying to print with it, it might move and it might sort of fold and, and, and be challenging to work on. So one thing you, you can do, this is just an option, is to back it to stabilize it with um, freezer paper. So freezer paper is the a kitchen item that you can find in most grocery stores. You can also use it for arts and crafts. Uh, it has a little wax coating on it and that can be used to uh, stick to the back of the fabric. I've cut the freezer pack fabric a little bit smaller than the actual fabric because you don't really want to iron the waxy part directly. Um, you want to keep that away from your iron so and other surfaces. So it, I don't think it matters too much whether you iron this way or the other way, but it's probably easier to iron with the fabric side up. So let's do that. I've got the iron set on cotton. Now this is kind of a big surface to work on. If I were using a bigger plate, um, maybe I would print this large, but since I'm using an eight by 10, I might cut this in half. And I've got a working area here where I like to lay out the paint on the plexiglass sheet first. And with the golden opens, because they're so kind of light and translucent, I like to build them up light to dark usually. I'm just keeping the colors simple today. So as usual, there's different ways to do this. Um, with our leaves, one way, way we can do that is to apply paint and then put our leaves down and lift them up and print what's left and then print again. I'll show you what I mean. Get my roller and some paint. With these, you could um, go ahead and Remember, you're using thin layers with these. So I'm going to apply my leaves. Okay. And I'm going to take a sheet of... Those are touching. That's fine. I'm going to take a sheet of newsprint and I'm going to remove the background. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, remember, this is golden open, so it's not drying right now. So we're in good shape. I'm going to press down, because I want to make an impression of the leaf in the plate, even if it's very light. And I want to pick up what's around the leaf. Okay, I'm going to light print. I'll lift up the leaves. So, with our fabric, stabilized fabric, we're going to go ahead and put this down. You can either hand print or you could use a clean brayer if you want to get a little more. You could do this. Now, the yellow is going to be light. I'm just using it as sort of a background color. While that fabric is drying, let's do the same thing with blue. Again, these are unique qualities 
that are special to the golden open or anything really light and translucent using regular acrylics is going to yield a different slightly different result sorry about the squeak okay So we have the nice blue leaf impression, but the leaves are in a different spot. All right, so let's see what we get. That's pretty. So as you can see, it's super thin, light, translucent, but I like that subtle yellow that's kind of coming through. These marks are from my tie-dyed pillowcase. Again, that's an option if you feel like the fabric is hard to control, but if you don't and you're fine with just using the regular cotton as is, you don't need to bother with any of that. All right, skipping the stabilizing this time, let's try just regular cotton or this could be cotton poly. Let's try yellow with maybe mixed with a little bit of red. Okay, I think for this fabric, I need to add a brayer. Remember, you don't want the fabric to move too much. It is moving a little bit. Maybe I'll do one more dark color on this. Take it over here and let it dry. I think I just want to do one leaf instead of three and overlay that onto this. So how do I do that? Oh, well, how about uh, I want to get something over on the left. So remember, everything's reversed, right? So I want to have it over here. Let's try that.